week's beer. It's one I've been waiting to uh, use for a hot summer day. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Let's go a little bit closer. And that's the beer of choice. That's the Glosh Rattler. Anybody who's been following me, you probably remember there back in the winter, I actually did a Rattler, the first time I ever had one, and I was pleasantly surprised. And I actually said at the time, it's definitely a, th a summer quencher, and I said I can't wait till I get a nice summer day so I can try a couple others. And that's what I'm doing today. I got the Glosh Rattler. I'm just gonna pour that up. See what information we can get from the can. And hopefully this is a summer quencher that I think it will be. So I got a little bit ahead there, I'll let that settle. Um, I just read the can, it just basically Royal Gouache Holland, Gouache Rattler. The brewery itself has been around since like early 1600s. This is Rattler, oh, 1615, that's when they came out. It says craftsmanship and artistry. It says naturally brewed with real fruit juices. Yeah, just Bruce, coming out of Holland, give it a website. 2% alcohol, it's an extra light beer mixed with, mixed with lemon flavor. And that's about it. As I said, it's a uh, brewery out of the Netherlands, 2%, low alcohol, which is common for a Rattler. It's mixed with fruit juices. Now, if that kind of threw it, if you didn't watch my previous episode, that might have been out there. I can definitely smell the lemon right away. And it's a nice thirst quencher. Uh, for anybody who didn't see the last episode when I did the Rattler, concept of Rattler, originally, traditionally, it would be half beer and half lemonade. And nowadays, different breweries, you know, they use different type of fruit juices, whatever the case may be, but the true Rattler is lemonade. Definitely a thirst quencher. 2% alcohol, I mean, you have to turn quite a few of them to get a buzz, but if you're just looking for Thirst quencher is definitely the way to go. Really easy drinking. And the concept of Rattler is a German one. I believe around the area of Munich. And my understanding, I don't remember the gentleman's name, but basically it was in Munich. Or an inn if you want to be African, whatever you want to call it. And this was the time when bicycles were becoming extremely popular in the German area. So what this gentleman did, he actually built a bike path from the city out to his tavern in the hopes of getting, you know, a couple of bicycles. Bicyclists will come out on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon and he'll sell some more village in the case would be. So he built this bicycle path. Expecting, you know, a handful of people. And my understanding is the first Saturday afternoon that the path was open, he ended up getting several hundred people more than he ever expected. And that was great for business, but the problem was he started running out of beer. And he also had a load of lemonade that he couldn't get rid of. So his answer, he mixed the lemonade with the beer, called the specialty the Rattler, and it took off from there. And for the longest while, a true Rattler could only be by law in Germany, could only be made on site. It had to be, you know, you sit there watching the bartender mix the fruit juices. Now in the last couple of decades, it's a lot more popular and that's not the case anymore. And a lot of craft breweries are also taking it. So there you go, folks. That's my uh, Rattler here in sunny Pooch Cove, in, which is just outside of St. Charles. Obviously, like it. It's a quench, a thirst quencher by all means. So the Royal Glosh Holland Glosh Rattler. I think I'm giving it the 4.0. It's a 
It's a very, a very good beer. Quite surprised. Uh, anybody out there, you know, they're not a big beer fan, by, by all means, try a Rattler just to see if you like it. And let me know, either on my Facebook page or on the YouTube channel. So that's it, folks. That's my rating for this week's 4.0, my Glosh Rattler. Until next beer, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.